Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Humans are known to go out of their ways to stand out, and that applies to people who like to keep the weirdest animals as pets. Today, we are looking at the scariest pets people actually own. Some of these creatures have the potential to bring out the worst fears of some people. Hang tight and enjoy. Tigers You might be shocked to hear this, but the majority of tigers live as pets and not in wildlife. According to a study done by BBC, about 5,000 tigers live in legal captivity in more than a dozen states. They are kept as privately owned pets, while the population of wild tigers has decreased to about 3,890, according to the World Wildlife Fund. Owning a pet tiger may sound thrilling. If you want to know what it feels like to have a tiger as a pet, you should definitely try talking to Mike Tyson. Can you imagine being in an F-50 Ferrari with the top down and you got a tiger, a lion driving with you? <laughs> I think, yeah, that'd be pretty hot. If you can get an appointment. But caring for it can be a serious challenge. A tiger's diet consists up to 88 pounds of meat in one sitting, and its enclosure should be as big as 40 square miles. While studies show tigers can peacefully coexist with people, the frustrated, cooped-up cat has the capacity to eventually lash out and kill a few members of the family. So, before owning a tiger, try and ask yourself, why do you even want a tiger? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Tarantula. Big, hairy spiders. Do we need say more? Tarantulas are not as dangerous as many people believe. For most species, the toxicity of their venom is similar to that of a bee sting. It can cause a local reaction of pain, redness, and swelling. Though some people might experience much more serious allergic reactions. Still, tarantulas are generally quiet, clean pets that don't take up a lot of space and are quite interesting to watch. Serval Even though serval is not an ideal pet for everyone, it is an incredibly beautiful exotic cat that comes from Africa that people actually own. It is not the same as a simple cat. Servals aren't typically aggressive, but they can be difficult to own as they're still considered wild. These beautiful animals can be very affectionate, but they have survival instincts that you may not be able to train. It is legal to own a serval in almost half of the United States of America. In some states like North Carolina and West Virginia, you can own one without a license required. You can obtain a license to own a serval in states like Montana, Texas, Arizona, Mississippi, and others. It is illegal to own one of these big cats in many other states, so if you're looking forward to owning one, don't forget to check if your city and state law allows it. Naked Mole Rats If you haven't seen this rat in real life, you must have heard about it or seen it on the internet. Naked Mole Rat, as strange as it sounds, is one of the ugliest looking species out there. So, obviously some weird people would like to keep them as pets. The special feature about them is that they live in communities with dozens of rats. The colony is led by one rat queen. Being the only one that breeds, the name suits her. Naked mole rats are one of the longest lived rodents with a lifespan of 30 years. A molecule in them makes them cancer proof, which is ironic looking at their body. The mole rats live in tunnels that could be miles long. Only a few creatures are neuter than a mole rat. One of their distinctive features is that they can survive 18 minutes without oxygen. So if you're thinking about starting a breath-holding competition with a naked mole rat, that would not be a very good idea. Boa Constrictors Yes, boa constrictors can easily kill you, but they probably won't. Despite its ominous name, a boa constrictor is quite gentle when properly cared for. This usually involves custom enclosures with simulated tropical conditions and a diet consisting of pre-killed rats and mice on a weekly or monthly basis. Needless to say, this exotic, non-venomous pet is not for the faint of heart, but its docile nature, when not provoked of course, has earned it legal status as a pet in plenty of states. Vietnamese Centipedes you have to be a different type of weird to own a Vietnamese centipede as a pet, 
but hey, humans are unpredictable. These centipedes have an unknown origin, but, but can be found in almost every tropical region, including Vietnam, Southeast Asia, Central America, and South America. It is important to replicate the environment in which they're found. Humidity and temperature are the most important factors for general health and comfortability. Proper care of your centipede will provide mutual safety and may potentially extend the life of your specimen. Vietnamese centipedes are sensitive to stress and will attack anything they consider a threat. They are actually a very common pet to own in Asia, especially for teenagers who are just a tad bit strange. This species of centipede is so large that it actually looks like something out of an alien movie. They can grow to around 8 inches long and actually have two modified legs on their head, with which they hunt. Even though death from a bite of the Vietnamese centipede is almost unheard of, the venom is said to cause extreme pain. Therefore, you want to exercise care with this centipede. But our first advice would be to just not own it. Giant African Land Snails Just the name of this creature is enough to stop us from keeping it as a pet. Giant African land snails are not available in the United States, but they are surprisingly popular in the United Kingdom. While the giant African land snail might seem like a fun, exotic pet to keep, it's considered one of the most invasive pests in the world. These snails are giant, with some species reaching a foot long as adults. These huge snails are relentless omnivores and have been known to chew through plaster walls. However, they are fairly easy to care for. If you're keeping giant African land snails, you must be extremely careful about disposing of the numerous eggs produced, as they reproduce very readily to the point of becoming an invasive species, which is one reason they're not allowed in the United States. Pac-Man Frog Native to South America, Pac-Man frogs are amphibians that are relatively common in the pet trade. As strictly terrestrial amphibians, they are very poor swimmers. Instead, they spend most of their time in a humid environment among damp leaf litter. These scary and mean-looking frogs get their common name from the popular Pac-Man arcade game because, like the animated character, these frogs have a rounded appearance with huge mouths. Pac-Man frogs are not difficult to care for, and they make for interesting pets. Pac-Man frogs feed on crickets, worms, and mice. Yeah, you heard that right. A fully grown Pac-Man frog can eat mice. They can grow up to a huge size and can be very aggressive. They can also eat fish, so it's not a good idea to keep them together. Hippo. The hippo is probably the most dangerous pet to have in the world. There have been multiple cases of hippos killing their owners. They can weigh up to 3,300 pounds and can run at up to 19 miles per hour. They are equally fast in water, so if you're being chased by a hippo, you have nowhere to run. The hippo is a large, mostly herbivorous, semi-aquatic mammal and ungulate native to sub-Saharan Africa. Hippos have to grow up fighting with the likes of crocodiles and lions for survival. Keeping them as pets is not an easy task, and they can get very aggressive when annoyed. People do own hippos, but there have been cases of hippos going wild and even killing their owners. So, keep them at your own risk. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it on a future video. Spotted Hyena Don't be misled by the cringing creatures seen in The Lion King. From their biology to their social structure, spotted hyenas are complex creatures like none other on Earth. They're considered nature's thugs, condemned as dim-witted cowards skulking in the back alleys, waiting for an opportunity to mug each other. <laughs> And London. But they're not that at all. All hyenas belong to one of four species that include the spotted hyena, the brown hyena, the striped hyena, and the aardwolf. The spotted hyena tends to be a highly social species of hyena, while the other hyena species tend to be a bit less social. There is evidence that people and hyenas can form a strong bond. People in Africa keep them as pets to show their strength. Owning a hyena as a captive animal is allowed in certain states within the United States. Nevada has some of the loosest pet restrictions. 
Hissing Cockroach. Not many insects are as universally loathed as cockroaches, and most people probably haven't thought about bringing one into their homes on purpose. But cockroaches can be the ultimate low-maintenance pet. They are sturdy and slow enough to be handled quite easily. There's a specific type of cockroach that actually hisses and is so large that it might give you anxiety. This creature can grow to about three inches long, and the more aggressive they get with time, the more they hiss. They use this hissing for breeding. They use the sound to attract potential mates. Cockroaches just look ugly, but they're not really harmful to humans. Hissing cockroaches don't even have any wings, so you don't have to worry about losing them. Which one of these animals would you like to keep as a pet? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.